why is this a game changer, do you think, in, from, from an internet perspective? Well, I think because it, it completely opens the whole world up to uh, using technology that we have and for the future. I mean, literally, you've got access to, you know, damn near fiber speeds. And we, like I said, remind, we're still in the beta program yet. We haven't even gotten into production yet. So who knows if we're going to be seeing, you know, over a gigabit you know, on these uh, as an option. But as far as for the technology and game changing, I mean, this opens up the world. I mean, when you start looking at like the Reddit, I follow the subreddit for uh, Starlink. I mean, all these normal customers and we're it, now we're taking the nerd factor out the geek factor and bringing it to what does this really affect? And a lot of these customers are just like, you know, we live out in the middle of Saskatchewan. We live out in the middle of the UP. You know, our fastest service has always been like a HughesNet or has been really slow DSL or dial up even in a lot of cases. And now they're able to start FaceTiming and leveraging a lot of these technologies that, I mean, as funny as it sounds, there, there's a lot of people that don't have access to these technologies and suddenly, you know, the most rural of the areas are being opened up to these technologies and these services. Well, I'll be honest, where I'm from in Northern Wisconsin, one of the challenges we have is uh, internet speeds. And just this past weekend, holiday weekend, there's so much heavy use on the towers that we couldn't get internet. We, I mean, you could wait a clock and wait, you know, and then you could get internet at 11 o'clock at night till yep. three in the morning when nobody's on it, but you know, it, having something like this is completely different but one of the things you said that that stuck with me is think think about the difference in a business when you're not routing through all these isps anymore you're you're yep. a direct link and what that means to data transmission i mean that's that's uh, to me that's a that was that was a meaningful thing you said and that is quite a game changer yeah, especially when they get the uh, laser linking to all the birds and stuff, a, a faster way of transporting that data. I mean, it's going to change the way the world transfers data. I mean, especially if you like understand the fact of um, undersea cables and stuff. I mean, while we think fiber being, you know, super fast, and it is fast, but you got to remember that there are laws of physics that apply to the transfer of light, you know, outside of a vacuum and stuff like that. And when you start running what they're capable of uh, doing, like these laser links and stuff like that, it's amazing when you start looking at the throughput speeds and how fast data can be transferred, even versus our cables and stuff that we got right now. It makes our undersea cables theoretically look like dial up. I mean, it really does. I, it, it, it's crazy, the technology that's going to be coming out of this and uh, applied. But I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a changer. And like I said, I mean, it, it will be cool to see, you know, a, a lot of people in the world get a fast broadband connection and one of quality, you know, and that's the other part to consider with all this is, is it's not simply just a, a and I know I sound like a SpaceX kind of you know, buy our stuff. No, but I mean, Do you have a SpaceX logo that we could. I haven't got a tattoo yet. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't got a tattoo yet, but yeah. No, um, no, look at another nice one, Mike. <laughs> I, I I should get a I should get a dishy tattoo. Um, no, but I mean, but I mean, one thing to remember with all this deployment is is that it, it, it's not the the fact that it's a high speed connection. There's also the consideration of quality that's also been shown here too, is, is that the quality of this service is, is pretty good. I mean, in comparison to some, you know, unnamed other companies, even within our region that are down every night or you're waiting for a certain modem to finish its little blinky light sequence because right. something went down. It, it, we found their service to really be super stable, even in beta. So if beta is anything to see, production is going to be even more incredible. Tony, are, my, you, are you running anything that would be sensitive to that, to loss, like a voice over IP of 
have you had success with that over this link? Yep, absolutely. Nope, we've got a couple of our transmitter sites that are running uh, uh, STL audio. I mean, we've got backups to it, but the concept needs to be tried is where are we with this? Are, are we actually at a point where, you know, as a broadcast industry, I mean, we use data and it is as necessary as air. Um, you know, because I, you know, our audio is continuously streaming to it. That that may be the way we have to feed a transmitter. That's what's so interesting. Oh, go ahead, Ken. Yeah.